today we are going to uh, review this uh, paper uh, which is about uh, the utility and the title of the paper is uh, you have the paper right when yeah so the title of the yeah the title of the paper is uh, approach to measuring health related quality of life by george w torrens and it was published in journal of chronic diseases uh, 1987 it's a pretty old but then uh, it's really very good paper we always uh, see uh, several uh, terms when we are uh, doing this uh, decision analysis or cost effectiveness analysis and so on the terms are like we use utility or sometimes quality adjusted life years Uh, from uh, quality of life or uh, SF36 instrument and so on, uh, and uh, we to some extent we do get confused uh, several times. And this paper is really uh, explains uh, really well uh, what it is about. So the first thing, uh, just forget about utility. Okay, the first and the foremost focus is quality of life okay uh, now if see quality because it is quality the whole this thing um, uh, comes into picture if it is quantity it's very easy you can say okay that person lived say 80 years 60 years and so on but what was his quality during that lifetime not necessary that the quality of uh, individual uh, individuals living the same uh, lifetime are always same okay because uh, a person who uh, maybe uh, who died at the age of 50 because of cancer and another person who died at say uh, 40 uh, normal life we cannot say the quality of these two individuals was same or say the person who died at 40 years was less it can be better Uh, for the person who died at 40 so the years you lived just gives the quantitative aspect but we don't know how much satisfied that person was and this satisfaction we are looking from the perspective of health because the quality of life can be uh, hampered because of several things maybe uh, economic situation or natural calamities and so on social uh, uh, interaction so on but here when we talk about health economics we are talking about quality of life in terms of health and that is how uh, the whole concept of utility comes into picture because how we uh, when we we know the lifetime of individual is composed of uh, quantity of life and quality of life quantity of life as we as i said it is the number of years from birth to death however quality is at each time point uh, between birth and death and therefore this has to be measured and how we measure is the approach that we call it as utility approach okay so basically the quality of lifetime when we are saying is uh, given in terms of quality adjusted life years or qualies because we have to adjust uh, how many years that person has lived and during this lifetime or during this years how was the quality of that uh, person's life and that, that's why we call it as uh, quality of lifetime as quality adjusted life years that is qualies and this is what uh, is considered as outcome in uh, health healthcare or cost effectiveness as for cost utility analysis in healthcare okay so that is how this qualies concept has come which means that you are considering what was the quality of that person for whatever years that person lived so that's why it is called quality quality adjusted life years and that is how this qualies concept comes into picture now uh, because 
like both physical and even the emotional functioning uh, contribute uh, directly to quality of life we have to uh, measure both um, when we say quality of life so physical functioning is suppose if a person is paralyzed and emotional functioning is like say depression so quality of life is combination of both of this now there is another component also like called uh, which is called as social function functioning i mean apart from this physical and emotional uh, however uh, as uh, uh, stated in this paper many uh, or from the research community uh, community feel that it is not an appropriate aspect of health related quality of life okay uh, so we may not really consider social functioning uh, when we calculate the quality of life for healthcare related or health economics uh, studies in fact as i mentioned other things like there are several dimensions of overall quality of life uh, which might affect person's quality like political cultural and uh, inflation economic natural calamities and so on but then these are outside of the health domain and therefore uh, when we are asking any person how is your quality of life uh, i'll come to that later uh, which instrument we use not like the direct this question but a kind of this question when we are trying to derive answer for we do not really uh, consider that whether political situation affected the person's uh, quality of life okay because these are outside of the health domain and for health economic studies the quality of life remains restricted to the health of that person okay does that make sense until that right right yeah so um, even though overall uh, quality of life is an all inclusive concept okay as i said uh, incorporating all factors that impact upon an individual's life uh, health related quality of life includes only those that are part of individual's health and for health studies so health related quality of life is the appropriate uh, term to use uh, for quality of life when we are talking about for the uh, health economic studies and the question is uh, as i said quantity is easy okay and uh, quality is tough how to measure so the question is how to measure this health related quality of life and the answer is utility approach okay so utility approach because see everything that we do uh, needs the number for statistical analysis okay so quality of life if if we ask person okay how are you feeling and uh, how is your quality of life and so whatever answer that person might give or uh, maybe in the form of text uh, but we have to consider everything together and give some number to what responses we are getting okay so that we have some number and we can then integrate it in uh, our health economic studies and then we can have uh, something uh, to put forward as evidence so utility approach is the method of measuring quality of life or precisely health related quality of life okay and that is how we use this utility approach and then we get some quantitative value and we use for cost effectiveness analysis cost analysis or cost utility analysis or even in decision analysis now there are different instruments to measure uh, the utility okay so we know that utility approach is the one which can give us quantitative value for the quality of life now how exactly we go ahead and uh, apply this approach so there are three methods okay which are uh, most commonly used 
Now, although it is very true that through that simplest way, if you want to ask anyone, uh, how uh, how is your quality of life? The simplest question would be, how are you? You can ask patient, how are you? And you get the uh, feel as to how that person is feeling. However, this will not allow you to compare across individuals, compare across interventions and so on. Because uh, how are you when you ask patients? Pa the response will be, uh, I am fine for, from say uh, more than uh, one person. But then if you really go into the depth, uh, one person might be uh, less uh, happy than other. So it, I am fine still doesn't give uh, exact quantitative value so that we can compare the two interventions or two individuals whether they are exactly same. So then that approach, uh, this asking this simple question may not help when our idea is to compare something. We need a really uh, solid value which can differentiate the smallest differences that the individuals might have. And therefore, uh, like there are methods which we can use and we will see those methods uh, further. Now. Uh, one second, let me scroll down. Okay. Okay, so here it is. So utility refers to the desirability or preference that individuals exhibit okay, for the condition. Okay, and it is a, a cardinal measure of the strength of uh, one's preference. So it is actually a, a number which tells you that or uh, what person desires or what person's preference is for whatever condition uh, he is having. Maybe suppose cancer is a condition. Uh, what is his desirable, desirability? How long he want to live with that condition? Or what is his preference? Whether he want to opt for uh, surgery or chemotherapy or I mean that's the preference and the value assigned to that is what the meaning of utility is and a uh, utility theory also called decision theory because it's it's used lot in decision theory is widely considered to be uh, the appropriate model for decision making in the face of uncertainty because uh, as we know uh, in decision analysis lot of uncertainties uh, are there and we want to uh, decide which option is the best among these uncertainties and that time this utility theory plays a role because it is directly from the consumer which is patient and they say what they prefer and therefore uh, it gives the utility is the exact approach to use in decision uh, a theory and models. The measuring of quality of life helps patient. Thus, measurement requires a decision orientation. They will be used to help reach decisions concerning alternative treatments or alternative programs for patients. So, it is the, the direct user is targeted here and therefore uh, it is quite close to what you want to uh, opt for. Now, utility uh, can be measured for various uh, possible health states and maybe patients who are in that particular health state or maybe uh, you subjects who are described or the health state or uh, interest uh, the and the utility values lie between 0 and 4. So, what uh, so basically here they are uh, before we come to the exact methods they are talking about that uh, first of all you can measure the utility for various health states okay and the extremes are life and death okay death is zero life is one so when person assigns one it means is the perfect health while zero means death okay and then in between lie various uh, uh, you can say health state for example Cancer uh, health state may have a uh, utility towards death, okay, while uh, 
से सिंपल हेडेक माइनर हेडेक मे बी टूवर्ड्स द लाइफ नियर वन सो मे बी से पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन ओके एंड जस्ट गिविंग हाइपोथेटिकल नंबर टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दीज टू हेल्थ स्टेट्स फॉल बिटवीन दी टू रेफरेंसेस जीरो एंड वन एंड वेर एग्जैक्टली दे विल बी प्लेस्ड now uh, the population which you select can be uh, both i mean the ones who are suffering from a cancer or headache or any health state ex actual patients or it can be a normal population but in that case uh, there are certain uh, criteria are given here which one should uh, keep in mind if you are selecting normal patient those are to be described the health state very well okay in terms of uh, functioning and so on it is not like okay uh, for example say you are saying that uh, normal uh, patient population uh, sorry normal healthy population that uh, you are diagnosed with lung cancer and now tell what is what utility you will assign no just diagnosis doesn't help you have to thoroughly explain what the patient with that lung cancer is going through at that time point okay how the daily activities are affected what are other symptoms and what are other problems those are created when uh, they are put on chemotherapy and so on so these uh, in fact visual aids should be used to explain to this normal healthy population so that they actually understand what uh, sufferings those patients might be going on it is very hard to extrapolate to real patients the uh, anxiety and so on but the maximum effort should be put in when you are selecting normal healthy population uh, for measuring utility of any particular health state okay so this is how you uh, go forward thus as we said when we are saying uh, quality of life is used in decision analysis uh, what is quality of life is like the one which you measure in this utility method okay and uh, the utility values uh, so that is the quality of life measured by utilities and then you multiply by quantity of life in years and so this multiplication of utility value that you get in this uh, three methods i will discuss further uh, you will multiply that with how many years that person lived and this will give you quality adjusted life year this is what we use in a decision analysis or cost effectiveness analysis which we call it as qualies okay so sometimes you use qualies or uh, uh, even you can use direct utilities also okay direct whatever value you get uh, from these methods that i will discuss uh, which use utility approach uh, you can add those number value directly in the decision analysis those are utility values and go ahead with the analysis so basically yeah tell me yes 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 yeah i mean there are certain health states uh, that have shown uh, even worse than death okay so uh, i'm wondering yes but they will be taken as it is in the you mean to say in decision analysis right whether we use the negative value as it is i i presume we use as it is yeah so uh, yeah okay okay so that's about uh, the um, uh, how uh, i mean uh, how this qualies term is derived and what exactly utilities are basically we have to understand these qualies and utilities so and that is 
because that is what we use in decision analysis and uh, you are clear with that right okay so this is how uh, when we calculate polys uh, for two comparative uh, interventions uh, we know uh, what are the values and then can be used in comparison of two or more health programs or interventions in population studies two or more groups can be compared in terms of their uh, uh, quality adjusted life expectancy so uh, basically uh, qualies or even quality adjusted life expectancy these are basically measurement units that you get for quality of life okay they basically health related quality of life using this utility approach you can use a any of these depending on your research question or the conclusion that you want to make sometimes you are trying to say that how many years of life expectancy uh, are there i mean quality adjusted life expect expectancy is what okay because again cancer i will come back again and again to cancer because that's where the person suffering knows uh, and the quality of life varies a lot so um, it might happen that even though the person's age or oh, sorry the life expectancy may be 60 years but then uh, because the quality with cancer is so bad that the quality adjusted life expectancy that that person may put forward uh, could be 40 years you know uh, i mean the person would say okay i don't want to live so much with this uh, condition but if i'm better uh, and live for 40 instead of 60 that is all right with me so these are different ideas which are used in the three methods that we will soon see for measuring utility so uh, there are couple of suggestions when subject without the uh, uh, health states of interest uh, that I already uh, talked about I mean the rater the patient population or healthy normal population that we select uh, we must be uh, careful about it and it is given on page 595 so visual aids and uh, several things as I mentioned should be uh, taken as support to uh, uh, trying to explain the health state very clearly to the uh, normal population now the most important uh, aspect how to measure this utility so there are three techniques and instruments that are available to measure the health state and we have in fact gone over this during our PPT chapter and quickly uh, quick quickly uh, we will revise here so these three methods are rating scale uh, standard gamble and time trade-off that is TTO okay uh, coming to the first one rating scale is uh, pretty much uh, straightforward uh, where you have a line on the uh, page okay and these uh, this line the extremes of this line uh, represent the most preferred and least preferred uh, states and then whatever uh, uh, state that person is suffering from okay that is uh, marked in in between these two extremes and that is how we then say that okay uh, for uh, say uh, renal deficiency the person gave 0 0.6 he marked there for his health state okay so and that is how we come to the uh, utility now this is the most simplest method okay um, but uh, again not that much reliable okay uh, so people are now switching uh, towards either using standard gamble or time trade off and now between these two also standard gamble is more uh, complex than time trade off okay but then depends how much uh, uh, resources are available with you and accordingly you can use any one of them but the simplest one remains the rating scale okay but then there are some papers 
uh, if you go over this paper in deep uh, towards the discussion part you will realize that the uh, reliability of, of any utility measures between these three methods is uh, is definitely questionable um, and uh, the best is to take uh, repeated measures or there is some correction they have which you can use to uh, make your value more reliable okay so there are methods but nevertheless uh, rating scale is not really a uh, uh, suggestive method that is what i gather from what they have here though they say that there is some correction measure if you use that even rating scale could be the method of choice okay now coming to the second method which is standard gamble which is uh, the acronym is sg now as the name suggests it is a gamble okay uh, the patient is uh, asked to play a gamble now in this um, this is the very much uh, this is very uh, original method of utility theory and it uses a paired comparison when subjects uh, are asked to choose between two alternatives okay so like in rating scale we never had any two alternatives i mean they were just two extremes and the patient or the uh, rater is supposed to mark somewhere uh, the line based on their health status but then here there are two uh, alternatives which are offered to the uh, subject or the rater one alternative is a uh, treatment with two possible outcomes okay so there is like uncertain so first alternative is uh, uncertain there may be good outcome with some probability and there is a bad outcome with probability of 1 minus the previous probability okay so it is uncertain uh, for example it might happen that suppose uh, patients with a lung cancer if they are uh, undergoing uh, removal of lung the probability of survival or probability of cure uh, may be uh, say uh, 40% okay and uh, not cured is 60% so there is uncertainty in this alternative which is undergoing removal of lung while another alternative is a uh, certain out it has a certain outcome which is intermediate uh, uh, in desirability desirability between the two outcomes we mention like cure or uh, not cure okay between this the second alternative lies which means the current state okay uh, the which means uh, maybe a patient should go undergo chemotherapy okay because but then it is confusing right at this stage if we see uh, at this stage it is really difficult to, that what patient would opt for whether he would opt for removing the lung which has the probability of cure as 40% and 60% i mean no cure okay or he he is fine with whatever condition he is right now going through so so then it is it is hard at this point to derive any number okay and that is how we uh, then ask patient these two alternative uh, and so up to some limit patient will be uh, consistent in the sense that uh, patient will either opt alternative 1 or opt alternative 2 okay however at some time point okay there will be point of indifference patient will be uh, not able to say which uh, which option he wants to offer uh, he wants to opt for okay depending on for example at 40% probability of cure he is all right okay he is still saying that okay i would like to go for alternative one which is removal of lung then you decrease the probability of cure say 30% patient is still happy because the current alternative 2 which is the current state is terrific and he is not able to bear it 
so he wants to remove even with 30% probability of care okay so you will still select alternative one but then at some time point when you move uh, towards the lower probability of cure say 5% probability of cure oh then patient doesn't want to undergo removal of lung because several things okay first of all the complications which might occur later and in addition to that the cost and so on Several things we don't know what is going on in patient's mind, what is his social condition, what is his uh, the surrounding environment, and so on. So, at certain time point, patient will be confused. Okay, that uh, say if not five percent, at ten percent probability of cure, he is uncertain whether he would opt for alternative one or two. So that point of indifference is considered as the uh, measurement okay uh, that is the uh, uh, value that is used now exact value and all maybe i'm not that familiar exactly so what value you select but i guess 30 percent uh, chance of so for example if we say at 10 percent cure if we realize uh, that there is point of indifference Probably uh, that is the value, okay? Maybe point zero point three, I guess. Okay. So, but anyway, as far as you understand the concept, I think then later is not that tough. Does that make sense? Okay. The next method is a time trade-off. Uh, now again, this method also uses paired comparison, okay? Uh, in which the subject must choose between two alternatives like we have for standard camp. Okay, like alternative one is to have the health state under consideration for the remainder of life. Okay, alternative two is to have shorter but healthy life. So here both the alternatives are certain. So whether I live with my uh, lung cancer as it is throughout my life or I it's okay even if I reduce 10 years of my life but I want to uh, uh, live better life okay maybe with any other intervention or anything but this is my option that's what patient might say again in this also it might happen that if it is uh, say okay I can give off my 10 years I'm fine. I want to opt for alternative two. Um, give up 15 years. Yes, I still want to go for alternative two because my condition is very bad. Okay, alternative one, the current state is really bad. So I still want 15 years also. If I have to give, I still go for alternative two. However, at one time point, say 20 years, if one has to give it off, okay, or reduce from its lifetime. There is point of indifference. Now patient is confused. That whether I should live in the same health, health state throughout my life, whatever years are remaining, or should I uh, really be ready to give off 20 years and select alternative two? Confused. Point of indifference. Okay. And that is how uh, you uh, derive the utility value from this method. So these are the three uh, methods which are used for measuring the utility under utility approach okay and this utility value which you get is used for calculating quality adjusted life years okay and which you use in decision analysis sometimes if you don't calculate quality adjusted life years you can use directly the utility value in your decision analysis okay both these methods, as I said, whether it is standard gamble or time trade-off, are implicit methods which indirectly provide the utility values for the health state. Okay. Uh, the paper also describes two other methods uh, for measuring utility, like equivalence technique and ratio scaling. But then uh, they don't go much into it, and uh, even I haven't heard uh, people using them 
often okay so we won't go into those uh, two other methods these are basically the three methods rather two methods which are uh, most commonly used uh, these days now all these methods that we have really learned okay uh, even rs rating scale sg or time trade off all these methods are for single health states however if the health state is described by a multi attribute classification system then one must use multi attribute utility theory again this is nothing uh, to do with uh, the exact thing the method remains same that just that you have to change model i guess and you can uh, proceed okay but then more complex things come later as long as you understand the primary uh, measurement and method of measuring and using it the value which we get i guess we are good for now now then the yeah tell me yes exactly they are more or less the same uh, just that uh, sg is more complex and sometimes patient find it difficult to understand okay because as you see uh, here we in time trade off also we have two alternative in sg also we have two alternatives and we are comparing but then in sg you will see that you have to uh talk to them about probability okay which is which is many times hard for them to understand the concept of probability okay but then your if your resources permit there are different visual aids which facilitate this thing and those can be used because uh, again sg may be preferred method than tdo as you would read more uh about the performance of these uh, methods and so on uh you will understand that sg may be a more preferred method okay uh, although this table 3 gives uh, accuracy of utility measurements uh but then uh it's okay i mean it will uh, more or less sg and tto give the uh, same uh, values uh but then uh, yes sg is a preferred method that's what i understand from this uh, thing even though it is little complex okay yeah so now coming to performance of the utility measurement i am on 597 page okay so acceptability uh, is concerned yes all three methods have good acceptability uh rather two of them are is more are more acceptable uh, as far as accuracy is concerned um uh, satisfactory uh, reliability is uh, observed and the precision is modest okay i mean how precise if you repeat the measure uh, it won't give you the exact uh, values you know precision is a little modest but then there are solutions like you can take multiple uh, measures with different techniques okay and then you take the average so the precision increases okay or maybe you take repeated measures using same method and that is how you can try to improve the precision also i mentioned about the correction which is called as power curve correction uh, 598 page uh, that can be used for getting valid utility values they don't give much detail about this power correction but then yes we can uh, go into more details and uh, uh, see what exactly it is and use that power curve correction for getting more reliable utility values and uh, another method is you increase sample size okay so more uh, patients or subjects or rators you have you can increase uh, the reliability and to some extent even the precision okay uh, yeah 
okay so until now i think i said sg is better but it seems tto is preferred over sg by subjects for its easy usability okay uh, as i said yeah it is more usable so sg is little complex so from patient's perspective they prefer tto and as far as reliability is concerned okay there are no significant differences among instruments these different techniques or methods or instruments that we studied but then yes for rating scale the validity is poor but then they suggest that we can use power curve correction to increase the validity and tto should be used over rating scale um and if rating scale is used you should use power correction so uh, that is what uh, uh, these three methods are about uh, how to measure the utility until now it makes sense okay i think then uh, we are almost towards the end so if i uh, finally if i uh, summarize okay the whole thing it is like this the quality of life is a broad concept okay Uh, for the purposes of decision analysis or health economics analysis we focus only on health related quality of life now to measure this health related quality of life uh, the approach is utility approach okay uh, and this can be uh, done using three uh, techniques rs sg and tto and this is how whatever value utility value or the quantitative number that you get you can use it um, for uh, calculating uh, the quality adjusted life years for using in decision analysis tree as outcome or maybe use utility values directly at the end authors do uh, conclude that uh, there are several disadvantages uh, for these methods they are time consuming and uh, they require little bit of resources and even you need to adapt based on the different uh, health conditions and population that you are studying okay so yes but then they are still valid and useful ways to measure the health related quality of life uh, that is how they conclude uh, this paper Mm-hmm. Yes. No, this is uh, yeah. So in the bracket uh, on the left hand side, you have are these are references. yeah so this is uh, how uh, patients or the population accepts these utility measures yeah techniques as you see they are really complex ones so willing to participate general public is 84 to 70% uh, and it varies depending on different uh, studies those are conducted and that is how it is given uh, on the uh, right hand side how much percent acceptability mm, yeah i think yes even i like this chapter because even i was not very much clear about these qualities and utility i always used to get confused you know but i think this this may yeah this is a really nice paper to explain yeah you have any other questions yeah tell me yeah second march our timing yeah i moved actually i think there was some confusion he didn't change i think date i don't know but it did not i mean we at least did not receive the change schedule yeah yeah 28 um uh,